I was 17 when I took the night train from Cornwall to London for a series of intelligence and aptitude tests to guide my future career. I was used to doing well at school, so expected a positive report with a bright future. The results were a shock, consistently below average. A dismal future beckoned. A period of depression followed, compounded by the lack of resources for a third level education and family stresses. I stumbled into and then out of a career in property and then into coaching. But all the time, there was this niggle in the back of my head. Were those London assessors asking the right questions? Or was I deluded? Was I dumb? Or were they asking dumb questions? So began my marathon search for the right questions and the requirements not just for high-level performance, but simply for fulfilling one's potential. This search eventually gave birth to the go rules. And yes, I know, rules are horrible, negative, focused on preventing and containing, all about don't. So I thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if there were some rules that did the opposite, that were liberating, focused on freedom and growth, all about do and go? And wouldn't it be wonderful if these go rules applied to all activities and all students, even the many who are floundering. So many floundering, unempowered young people. Waste not, want not is a clarion call for the good of the planet, but the greatest waste of all is the waste of human potential. The one person who can change this is looking at you in the mirror. But when does a person realize that their future is their own, and they need to take ownership of it. Much too late in many cases, and not at all in far too many cases. So wouldn't it also be wonderful if these go rules put the student in the driving seat, steering their own training journey by giving them a simple process to follow so they could run their own race? Too good to be true, or is it? You be the judge. Rule number one is have a go. It's the green go. The traffic lights are green. You can go forwards in your Aston Martin DB5. It's all about putting yourself in each day, saying, yes, I'm going to make the most of today, even if things are easy or difficult. I have a paraplegic friend in the UK who says, life is as it is not as it should be. So get up, dress up, show up, and never give up. The truth is that life is often difficult and unfair, but life turns out the best for those that make the best of the way life turns out. And the most powerful strategy for achieving this is taking one small step at a time. Inch by inch, life's a cinch. We can even walk around the world one step at a time. And as we start down this road of having a go, the endorphins kick in. We feel good, and our self-esteem grows, thus avoiding the paralyzing pessimism so characteristic of inactivity. I regularly, vis I regularly witness this have-a-go attitude at Festina Lente in County Wicklow, where we work with numerous students who have intellectual or physical challenges. Recently, we had a visit from Britain's Princess Anne. The princess went down the line, being introduced to all the students. Having passed by Sean, who has Down syndrome, he called out in a loud voice, is your mummy the queen? Yes, replied the princess. Well, said Sean, you are a very lucky girl. Sean was right. And of course, we are all very lucky, lucky to be alive and lucky to have the opportunity to have a go with or without these major challenges. Rule number two is have another go. It's the black go, all about doing things better. And I use the black go because it represents hard work, getting down and dirty, showing grit, not as glamorous as intellect, 
but we know well that the best students are not necessarily the smartest, but those who have grit, those who are tenacious, with high levels of self-control, and are prepared to work hard. Like legendary swimmer Michael Phelps, who at the age of 10 was told by his co coach, Bob Bowman, that for every length of the pool he swam was like paying into his own bank account from which he could withdraw later in competitions. His withdrawals won him 23 gold medals. This links in to a very important point about have another go. You do it with the help of a coach, a teacher, your support team. Partnership and collaboration are all powerful. Therefore, we all need to learn at an early stage how to be assertive team players. In my horse world, it's all about partnership. The good riders have to work with their horses. With human relationships, the same thing applies. Respect and empathy are key. Combined with the tolerance to live with both imperfection and the unknown. This is the basis for great teams. And there are also thousands out there with the knowledge we need that we can put on our online virtual team. It has never been easier to stand on the shoulders of giants. And this is all about being more curious and less cautious as we have another go. As Einstein said, I have no special talents. I am just passionately curious. A central part of having another go is that we should not be frightened of mistakes or failures. As with the phenomenon that is Wordle, mistakes are stepping stones. I love the example of WD-40, a super successful anti-rust product. Its name stands for Water Displacement Experiment Number 40, WD-40. There were 39 failures that allowed the 40th to be a success. The likely result of, another, of having another go is a personal best, a PB. The concept of a PB is hugely important for all performers because always trying to be the best as opposed to my best is invariably a recipe for disappointment. Whereas a PB is motivating and an integral part of our own race. And if you think about it, a new world record is simply a new PB for someone having another go and doing it better. Rule number three is my total favorite, produce the goods, with the go being part of the word good. It's the yellow go, about doing things well and avoiding bad habits, because bad habits are so difficult to correct. The yellow go is also about being generous, constructive, kind, and sunny, both to others and to ourselves. Why we need to catch people doing things right, not wrong. I love to find the opportunity to shout, that's good, because positivity builds performance while negativity kills it. The simple fact is that positivity is the strongest daily catalyst for so many of life's superheroes. Optimism, self-esteem, purpose, communication, and especially mental well-being. But for this to work, we have to have two vital strategies. Firstly, we need to work from what we do well, not from what we do badly. And secondly, we need to focus on what we should do, not what we shouldn't do. This makes practice almost perfect. Of course, there is no such thing as perfect, because in a changing world, there are always new options. A good idea has to give way to a better idea, particularly if it is more simple. This is where refining and reducing take center stage. And we should be constantly looking for marginal gains, with saving time being probably the most valuable benefit of simplicity. Less complication and more simplicity is the pulsing heart of both efficient education and better performance and better products.
I used to be terrified of being in goal at school. But now goals are a great joy for me because rule number four is goal set, with go being part of the word goal. It's the red go, as goals and action steps are like blood powering all our activities as we do the right things. Most of you will be familiar with goal setting. We start out from our main goal and we plan backwards. Then we perform forwards with daily action steps. At the Barcelona Olympic Games, Steve Redgrave won his third gold medal. As he entered the phase for the next Olympic Games, he was asked about goals and action steps. He said his goal was gold. Therefore, he had to improve his time by four seconds over the four-year cycle. Therefore, with over 6,000 hours of training, this meant that for each hour, he had to improve by just one hundredth of the time it takes to blink an eye. Four years later, he duly won gold again. Just as intelligence is nothing without hard work, intelligence is nothing without ambition. We need to study success and have big, groundbreaking goals, putting goals at the center of our life to pull us forward and using action steps to carry us forward on a daily basis. This is what enables us to go from our realities to achieving our possibilities. And as the blind and paralyzed Irish adventurer Mark Pollock says, do not respect the gap between the realities and the possibilities. Yes, Gov. Of course, Gov. I'll do that right away, Gov. Rule number five is when you talk to yourself. Not madness, but wisdom. Be your own governor. With the go being part of the word governor. It's the blue go. About blue sky thinking and wide horizons. About doing things by doing right by yourself as you both become independent and true to your own beliefs. Becoming the ringmaster in the circus of your life, the governor, as you balance the many competing demands. So from, the, from an early stage, we had to have practice, making choices, deciding on options, prioritizing, and learning to assess opportunities and the opportunity costs. We cannot do everything. So if we decide on a major new task, there will be something else that we cannot do. Being your governor requires another vital quality, authenticity. It's about being brave enough to be true to ourselves, including faith, sexuality, and possibly even neurodiversity. It's about making our daily actions in harmony with both our core values and our unique self. And it's also about ensuring that all performers find their passions, not just their gifts, and find what makes them happy. Then self-motivation and self-determination invariably, will invariably happen. Such holistic thinking is also invariably the road to fulfillment and inner peace. But it is a road ignored by those focused only on the short term or focused only on competition or examination results. And it is a road that is simply not an option for those who let others run their lives. So five go rules that put the student firmly in the driving seat. To begin with, they are a pyramid, with a major focus on having a go and having another go, and only a small focus on being your governor. Then over a period of time, there is equal emphasis on each go rule, and together they form a continuum. A continuum that to begin with is all about making go. Then gradually, it is all about letting go. Parents, teachers, coaches letting go. The student running their own race. Then gradually, all the go rules blend into one. Every action we make is in harmony with each of the go rules. 
So the five goes become one glorious gold go. Gold is go plus LD. So what do the L and D stand for? The L is for love and the D is for delight. This links in with what I said about students finding their passions and is of the greatest importance. Intertwined with the go rules has to be the golden thread of love and delight that eases our whole journey through life. Whether we are a big, hairy, international rugby player or a research scientist, a farmer or an ultimate frisbee player, we all need to achieve happily rather than achieve in order to be happy. So the go rules are not just about good sport, but good work and good lives, richer, more adventurous lives. So the go rules are a call to action because the alternative is a waste of potential. Succumbing to the temptation of watching from the couch or the sidelines, or watching from the grandstands in the race we call our life. The Australian poet Banjo Patterson said this about the horse riders in the grandstand. There are some that ride the Robbo style and bump at every stride, while others sit a long way back to get a longer ride. There are some that ride as sailors do, with legs and arms and teeth, and some ride on the horse's neck, and some ride underneath. But all the finest horsemen out, the ones to beat the band, you'll find amongst the crowd that ride their races in the stand. In fact, the race was never run on sea or sky or land, but what should get it better done by the riders in the stand? But we can do differently. We can come out of the grandstand by using the go rules to ride our own race. Not just to survive, but to thrive. So there's only one thing left to say. On your marks, get set, go. Go.